Hi, this is Nick with BestOutdoorBasketball.net. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the Spalding Hybrid Portable Basketball Hoop. I actually picked this up from my uh, house recently and wanted to talk to you guys about the assembly process, different components, things I like, things I don't like, and overall how this hoop performs when you're using it. So, we're going to start with assembly. I did the assembly process over a couple of days. It took about four hours for me. Uh, admittedly, I'm not the most handy guy, but I do know how to use a wrench. So, uh, most of it I could do by myself, but there were about five steps or so where I needed an extra set of hands. I just couldn't do it all on my own. So, you will need two people to assemble this hoop at least, but for the most part, you can definitely get it done. Some areas that I would like to note and, and to be aware of as far as assembly is uh, with the actual support pole when you connect the pieces together you only have one shot to really get that right so make sure you have help um, it would be better that way because you want to make sure everything is lined up you also need help when it comes to attaching the backboard uh, to the support system and you'll also need help when it comes to attaching the rim so those are just a few of the ones that I can think of off the top of my head where you're gonna need extra help assembly wasn't as bad as I thought as far as difficulty but I will say that the manual isn't clear in some instances. The manual does not, the glossary of the butts and bolts and the nuts and the uh, glossary are not clear and they're not necessarily accurate. I think it's kind of a generic uh, glossary that they use for all their portable systems, but I'd like to see Spalding offer um, a, a customized or, or one that's individual to each portable basketball hoop. Another thing that wasn't clear is in the manual, it wasn't really clear how to touch, attach the rim to the backboard, so that kind of took us a while. It actually is attached by the breakaway spring and not by the bolts that are attached to the backboard, so that was a little confusing for me. Otherwise, most of it is pretty self-explanatory and uh, it, it isn't that complex. Really, like I said, if you know how to use a wrench uh, and you're, you're reasonably handy, you'll be able to get this together uh, without too much difficulty. So, easier than I had expected it to be. As far as the components, let's start with the rim. The rim has a single spring breakaway mechanism to it, and it's in this cover casing uh, right there. And I will say that the rim performs better than I expected it to. A lot of portable rims at the price point do have uh, more flimsiness and things like that. And I'll say that while not up to the standard of a gym quality rim, uh, it's, it's pretty darn good and uh, I feel like I'm getting a quality session in when I'm practicing on this hoop so uh, that's pretty much how the rim is. I do like that the rim has a cover and um, that cover helps protect the spring from any rusting and wear from the weather so I, I do recommend if you're going to buy a basketball hoop for your house that, that you pick up one with that cover over the spring. So, and that is uh, the rim. Moving on to the backboard, I bought uh, the 54 inch acrylic version backboard for this hoop. There are three different versions that are available, a 54 inch acrylic, a 60 inch acrylic, and a 54 inch tempered glass. It's about $200 more than this version here. Uh, I will say that I've been really impressed with this backboard. I wasn't sure how much of a difference there would be with the acrylic to the tempered glass, but um, it's not been as much as I had expected and not to mention that acrylic is just by itself as a material much more durable than the tempered class So if you live in an area with high winds or anything like that um, Or you are fear that maybe the hoop will tip over you definitely would rather go with the acrylic over the tempered glass so uh, It actually bounces off you know that when you shoot uh, the basketball off the backboard for a bank shot it actually comes off with some pretty good velocity. Again, not like a gym quality hoop, not like a tempered glass backboard, um, but considering that it's an acrylic hoop uh, and it's on a portable system, I, I'm really impressed with how uh, the basketball jumps off the backboard and, and into the hoop. So I'm pretty happy with that. Moving on, uh, looking at the, the support pole. Uh, the Spalding Hybrid Portable Basketball Hoop comes with a three piece support pole. Uh, you attach those three pieces together when you're assembling the hoop and again you'll want to have some extra help with that. Uh, three piece support poles are fi found on most portable basketball hoops. 
I've only found one portable basketball hoop that has a two-piece, which is better, and that's the Spalding Beast. But that actually costs about $700 more than this hoop here. So again, it's, it's that balance between what you're willing to pay for a hoop and the quality that you get. I will say that I don't feel like the hoop vibrates too much with the three pieces. I feel like it's actually quite sturdy and durable. Uh, again, exceeding my expectations in that regard, so I'm quite happy with that. Uh, if looking at the base uh, of the hoop, that's kind of where this hybrid, uh, spalding hybrid uh, term comes into play. Because you actually fill half of the base with water, and then you fill the other half with bags of sand. The water, the base can hold up to 19 gallons of water, so you can fill that up and then it holds four 50 pound bags of sand so and then you put the, the bags of sand in there after you got the water in what i like about that is that um if you need to move this hoop or transport it uh, at a later date you can basically just take the bags of sand out and with the 19 gallons of water you should be able to move the hoop with with, with one other person so uh, with most portable basketball hoops it only fills with water and if that's the case, then you have to go back and uh, empty almost all the water out before you can move the hoop, which can be more of a pain. So uh, I really like that, the versatility of the hybrid base um, on this hoop. It also comes with a couple of wheels on the bottom, which helps make transportation a bit easier uh, as well. So quite happy with that. Lastly, the hoop height adjustment uh, system. The hoop height uh, adjusts from seven and a half feet to ten feet using a uh, kind of a cord, uh, screw jack system, and it can be adjusted in infinite in increments. So anything from seven and a half feet to ten feet, you can adjust it to. So if you have little little ones at home and they want to shoot on the hoop when it's lowered like this, and you want to teach them proper mechanics, well then you can do that with this hoop. If you want to practice as a full grown adult or high schooler or middle schooler. You can raise the hoop up to the, the regulation 10 feet, no problem. Uh, I really do like that. I also like that there's a pin with the actual um, screw jack system so that if you leave and you don't want anybody tampering with the hoop, you can pull out the pin and take out that um, take it, take out that um, handle and, and put it in the garage or somewhere safe where if so, then the hoop will stay up and nobody can bring it down to dunk on it and whatnot. So that's that. Now playing on the hoop, um, you know, I'm, I'm really thrilled with it. It, it meets my needs. I'm, prim I'm primarily just coming out here to shoot and have a good time and, and uh, just because I love to shoot and play basketball. Uh, so for me, it definitely meets my needs and I think for most people it will meet your needs. Uh, if you see here, like I have a decent driveway, but it's not huge. I don't have a full court or anything uh, to utilize and I haven't built one for that reason either. So. Um, I'm really happy with the performance of it. When you shoot and it hits the rim, especially if it hits the back of the rim, uh, it performs really, really well. It's very sturdy. If you hit the front of the rim, I will say there's more bounce than I would like at times. Uh, it's a little flimsier than I would prefer, but overall it's nothing crazy. It definitely will work. And uh, again, it meets my needs. The goal is to get a little practice in, shoot some shots, and uh, get a feel for the game. And uh, it does that well. So overall, I, I'm really thrilled with my purchase of Spalding Portable uh, Hybrid Portable Basketball Hoop. And if you're considering a portable basketball system, I definitely think this should be one on your short list. Uh, this one ran me around the $500 range, just to give you an idea. And again, with the tempered glass, it goes all the way up into the $750 range. So again, if the tempered glass is your thing, then uh, you might want to consider it. But for me, this was enough. So again, this is Nick with bestoutdoorbasketball.net. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe.